one entire sealed case. I was so afraid of flipping that. Of, uh, what, what do we have here? Uh, this is, uh, Sunday before Crimson Invasion. Ew, Crimson Invasion. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it's not serrated, that worries me. There we go. All right, so we have six booster boxes. I'm gonna take three. I'll probably take four. Mahone will take two. Hey, what? I'm gonna keep up. You know, I'm just being honest with everyone. I mean, but I've gotten quick. You know what the fans all said that, uh, my, uh, my prism, prison box was much quicker than yours. That's because I spent 20 minutes laughing at the Donald Trump card. <laughs> laughing at the Donald Trump card. Uh, I didn't actually watch all 40 minutes of your longest booster box opening ever. Uh, I don't history. blame you. One but, uh, By the way, I remember to put my rings back on. Hey. And um, we should probably ramble as well to all of you people about uh, some of our, mm, I don't want to say changes. I hate when YouTubers are like, we have a change we coming up. We have an exciting change. Will things ever be the same? Yeah, no. Most of you know that we, uh, been experimenting with the channel for a while, as in three videos a day, or three videos a week, or one video a day, <laughs> and you know, having some kind of like set schedule. Some is kind there of a no daily schedule. booster box channel? Is, is there not? Is yeah. there not? Is the competitive stuff happening on the main channel now? Nobody knows. Yeah, we've, right. we've been messing around with it a lot to kind of see, you know, what, uh, I don't know, what works, what doesn't work, and it seems like uh, what works the best is one video a day. Yep. I put out a tweet about it, at Darium's Pokemon, you should follow me. And that also hit Facebook as well. Basically asking, all right, all right, all right, what series do you like from us if we were to drop down to one video a day? And a bunch of good feedback, but we need more. Essentially, this is kind of the, I guess, the crux of it. We need a new plane, that man. We do need, this one's getting a little, ah, a little suspect. A oh, sweet card. Sweet um, card. I guess I'll get some uh, sleeves on here. Get Give KMC Perfect Fits a nice little free bump. And give me a second to catch up. So <laughs> take, yeah, there you go, take your time. Um, okay, essentially this is kind of what we're, we're shooting from the hip and thinking. Uh, first of all, Profit or Loss, the Hunt 4 series, uh, those are those are definitely, and PSA Greater Returns, those were overwhelmingly requested to come back. Right. So th those are coming back probably once a week, and we're, we're going to try, uh, kind of like a set schedule-ish, as in like, PSA Greater Returns used to be on a Monday, so you, you just know, hey, Monday it's Monday, this. Monday we're talking about PSA cards. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Tuesdays, so, uh, Hunt for series, you know. Things like that. And then, yeah. you know, 1,000 packs. Saturdays will probably be, Saturday and Sunday might be eh, whatever days. Like, we have some sort of wild card days. It's not going to be ah, so Ah, like that gold counter catcher. Oh, my gosh. Kevin, you are kicking my butt right now. My infinite percentage. Yep. Um, but, uh, it's all right. Yeah, so kind of days that we can release just extra things. Right. Like, you can't do 1,000 packs every week. Well, no, I mean, but we were thinking about opening a case, what, how often? Probably once a week. Once a week, yeah. yeah instead like of doing a booster box a day. case, yeah. There's a case every week. Case a week, and I think that, you know, I mean, that the case videos probably are a little more exciting than a, a single booster box video, so. I mean, I would think so. I would think so as well, so. Yeah, uh, moral of the story is, uh, what, 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 what series? Would, would you, if you could pick, I guess, let's say five series, right? Five Get series. Get-a-do! get a do <laughs> that was crazy. That was pretty good. That was pretty cool. That's I mean, yeah, lying. two Gyarados, same yeah. dang time. All right. Same. You're gonna have <laughs> there, give me a You're not, not going to get I mean, many hits. I'm not going to get many hits, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I guess I'll sleeve the Gyarados. You probably there we go. should. Yep. So, yeah, what, you know, what, like, five videos, you know, leave in the comments, you know, like, what, what are your five favorite series? I know some people have been saying that they do enjoy seeing some of the competitive stuff, you know, I would like on at least have the once a week. You know? Yeah, maybe we have one day that's like uh, you know, a more competitively tilted day or slanted day, something like that. But, you know, obviously, you know, what what kind of do you think would be the most exciting stuff for you guys to see on a weekly basis? We still plan on doing like maybe some that is really off cut. Um a lot of them are. Some this used to be such a more exciting card. <laughs> the time, uh, but we still plan on doing some of the just like the random, uh, maybe you know seven of this, ten of this, eight oh, of yeah, that. Oh yeah, that's probably gonna be a day in its own. It's that's just... gonna be its own day, probably like you know random thing day. <laughs> yeah, there you go, pretty much. Random package day. But then also we were thinking about incorporating so like probably no more just like here's. 10 cocoa boxes, uh, <laughs> yeah, here's, nah. uh, here's all our Kingdra boxes, you know, probably no more of that, but we are thinking about incorporating some sort of stream, like regular stream day as Even well. Even if it's only one day a week, something right. like we could Another be- Another Gyarados! Oh my gosh, 
gosh, this oh, is some so good, good karma, if I do say so. I mean, goodness. It is All these good. Gyarados. <laughs> so you could say something like our, ah, Cortana. Oh, if that was a Rainbow Gyarados. <laughs> that would be That would be bonkers. All right, nice. So my box nice. did have all three wild cards, by the way. All three wild? Well, yes. Yeah, because it's either a full art trainer, a secret rare, or a hyper rare. That's right. pretty insane out of a box. Right. Um, yeah, so... I don't know. Good old schedules. But, um, yeah, so live stream is also kind of like an option. Uh, maybe like, I mean, maybe more than once a week, but like a guaranteed one a week where we just crunch through. We have um, hundreds, literally hundreds <laughs> of like GX boxes, EX boxes just piled up all around us. It's and so much. And Aaron is begging us to give him more inventory, more <laughs> yeah. stuff to open. And I'm like, I'm hoping as many of these Coco boxes as I can. <laughs> Yeah, you know, on videos. Kind of oh, true. full art Gladion. This case is pretty good, actually. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, in any other series, even if you want something like a competitive top 10, random top 10. V oh, like top 10 videos. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. we could do like a you know, bunch of top 10. And even just like one top 10 a week, so like four a month. That's Ooh, not that's that many top 10s. And top 10s, there's kind of infinite content for that. Yeah, there so, is. Six you know. hits out of this box, by the way. Nice. I mean, and we I, might rotate. So it might be like a top ten, like on this Thursday. Maybe the next Thursday it'll be something else. I mean, you know, right? Because seven days a week, honestly, is not a lot to fit mm, in. No. If you're only doing one video, only one video a day. Right. It's actually not a lot of space to work with. I mean, so we are gonna have to like kind of pare down what we're doing. That's why we want to pare down what we're doing to be, you know, more focused on what you guys want to see. You know. Yeah, and like something if we're gonna open five boxes a week, we might as well just open one case. Exactly. A week. That exactly. Seems a lot better to do it that way. Definitely, because the videos, you know, probably uh, just it will be more attractive. I mean, who doesn't want to watch, you know, a case over a single box? I mean, opening a case a week, that's a pretty, you know, pretty cool thing. Maybe two if we do uh, graded returns on one of them. Right. Uh, but then. I mean, but graded returns can we get to a point where we're doing graded returns like every week? I mean, is that realistic, you know? Where one of our videos a week, where we're consistently getting... By the way, get know. it up! <laughs> um, well, we could... Okay, it, it depends. There's, there's things we could do, but... I mean, I'm saying, like, we could... For PSA graded returns, like, what I was thinking that I want to do... Uh, Anna Savali. Okay, this is insane. It hits left and right. I mean, I like the grade dumb stuff, let's be fair. But, um... <laughs> It would Buzz be, Wally! It'd be kind of cool to crack a case, or even just a couple boxes or something, and just send off everything. Right. Does, doesn't matter the condition, just send it all off, and kind of <laughs> get an idea of what to kind of expect. Like right. Like evolutions, all nines and tens. Right. So, it, I mean, or if we do profit or loss, for example, it just means we're profit or lossing something. We could profit or loss right. a box, a case, uh, 12 GX boxes, you know, so we have some room. There's always going to be something to profit a loss every week. I mean, because we're opening every week. Yeah, it's so good you, to tell right. people the values. But those videos, I'm going to experiment with those because doing it where every single card or pack we open has the price pop up and the price changes. Right. That actually takes an incredibly long period of time to edit. It does take a lot of time to edit, but our hope is that if we, you know, are going to one video a day, then we have the time. Then we yeah. will have time to edit. <laughs> yeah. So. At three videos a day, uh, we're running around like chickens with our heads cut off, just trying to pump out this amount of content. Yeah, so. it's, it's doable, but... Uh... It is doable. Yeah, I don't know. With profit or loss, I'll, I'll mix it up. I'll, I'll do some of the old ones where it's value on everything, or some of the ones where we'll crack it, and then maybe hey, I'll just... Hey, my box was not bad either. I think that's my... This is insane. Well, four, sixth hit? Okay. I like how we have one, two, three, four Gyarados. <laughs> right. <laughs> Out of a box and a half. And, and a gotten, what? And we've gotten three that's secret three rares in three rares. boxes. Oh my gosh, that's this insane. Okay. All right. Broken opening Talk right here. How terrible this set is. Yeah, I know, I right? It's looking the pretty hits. good right now. <laughs> looking pretty good. If I do uh, say so, onto the second one. Re re results not typical. Results they may vary. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's all I can say about that one. Uh huh. Oh, in reverse all magic card. Yeah, uh, these uh, hot crimson invasion boxes on sale at dairyhips.com. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, thanks. Yeah, your box will look just like this. Please forward <laughs> all hate to at Mikey Collins. <laughs> yeah, Mikey's been sitting behind us the whole time, people. You might have heard him just laugh. There he is. Ooh, magic card. Hey, all right, so Corpish. Double 
core fish. Double core Two. fish. Two. Count them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, big derp tree. The derpster himself. But what do you think? I mean, Kevin, what are you, like your favorite videos to do? Like, what do you think? Like, just what your do I actually opinion, enjoy like, recording? I yeah, I know you're like, you know, we're kind of asking, but. No, the you know. PSA Great Returns I thoroughly love only because it's cool to, like, know how many are in existence that's where i get like excited it's kind of like right. i don't like to look at the grades before it comes back i like to look at them as i'm opening right so that's i don't know that's like christmas opening right stuff like that um profit or loss editing it i gotta be in the mood for that right honestly um it's just mainly the editing but i do like the, the numbers behind it so i completely understand the the appeal and the draw to it right but i don't i love ps hey! nice you got a big derp tree a the giant derpster himself. Derp tower. <laughs> now. But I guess I'll say this. Any video that uh, incorporates me opening Guardians Rising is my favorite video. It's your favorite video. <laughs> let's, let's put it that way. Right. I I actually really enjoyed, and I kind of just like randomly whipped up that video with like the old cards the other day. But I really enjoyed that. And I think like even just digging in and incorporating more, you know, kind of old cards even into some of our series and stuff like that. We have to to um, some degree, but the problem is with... Uh, cracking old stuff is <laughs> really expensive. Hundred <laughs> percent impossible to get anywhere near your money back. Guzzler, right. by the way, hyper. So, is it like what? Even if we, oh, the hyper air guzzler, yeah, nice. Yeah, but look, look, all three wild cards, and I've got two of the wild cards out of this one. It's insane. Ins okay, but yeah, what are you saying? So you're saying like even if you just like PSA graded like a whole set, like you. And I guess that product is just worth more sealed than it is opened because it's old, right? You cannot get your money back out of old product. Now, okay, that's barring something like if you open, let's say, a shadowless box that's worth a billion dollars. <laughs> but if you get that PSA graded 10 Charizard, right? okay, you can make money. But the problem is that is tough to never. Do. Right. Like almost never. Um, And even going things like, all right, going to the plasma because plasma blast, storm, freeze. You can pick those boxes up for under 300 they're really that much gosh that's not even that old that's 270 that's, 270. that's cheaper but right the problem is is ultra ball used to get your money back right now it's uh, okay yeah uh, right but um yeah so this thing's that like okay we can i mean i'll be honest with uh after the ad apocalypse and everything going on right youtube uh doesn't pay us anything right. so before <laughs> when we were cracking all the old stuff like i bought the 300 dollars demo pack right right we knew we were getting five dollars of cards worth out of that but it didn't matter because you know youtube funded it right and we were cracking boxes of like plasma storm plasma black we even gave away a sealed box of base set because Gosh, yeah youtube allowed us to do that right so well, there's still some room where we can do that just not but maybe once a month maybe once a month you know right. it's hard to Oh, that, you know, I still see that, and I'm like, <gasps> Lele! Lele! Oh, Olivia! So, cool. we can, okay, what I'm saying is we can still take a loss, like, once a month, but can't right. be too much of a loss. Right. <laughs> that's, okay, so you're that's saying we're not open base set every month, right? <laughs> no, and that's, I mean, that's what sucked about the Adpocalypse hitting, right. because... We used to get to do more exciting stuff, like, I don't exactly, know. Exactly, that's, yeah. that's... And you'll notice a lot of poker tubers do that. Yeah, there's still a lot of amazing poker tubers that are opening some super expensive product. Right. But you'll notice they're opening packs. You know, they're not. Right. They're Whole not. Whole boxes of yeah. base set. We're talking a few packs of base set. They're not going you know. too crazy. Exactly. So they're doing what they can do. Right. I'd love to get into older stuff too, though. Like, even if it's just not. Uh, even if it's not opening old stuff all the time, even just like, I don't know, collections. Like, I did. You know, be nice. doing the collection videos, I think, is not a horrible idea. Uh, I don't know. What if we did some sort of, like, you know, detective series where you look for people's old collections? Like, kind of like, think about, like, American Pickers, but, like, with Pokemon cards almost, you know? Which would be sweet. There's, uh, I got to give props to uh, what, Trainer TV. I don't know. I, I do. I believe that is the name. I'm sorry if it's uh, if it's not exactly that. My Lego. That does go over like other people's collections. Right. At like a local card store and stuff. I mean, I only know that because there's a dude that had a an amazing Magikarp Gyarados uh, collection. Oh, okay. <laughs> totally jealous about. Uh -huh. I'm like that's kind of cool because I mean we do know. I mean, a million people. Right. So we can. Uh, I think actually Mikey and I might have talked about what was it AJ. No. Like AJ. going over AJ's collection no, or John and Laura Latham. I'm supposed to be going sometime in March. 
they have, right. They have uncut sheets of base set and stuff. That's, That's what I'm insane. saying. Yeah, so like we like know that. between like all of us here, we know a lot of collectors and have a lot of like if you think like American pickers like leads, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> we true. have a lot of leads and could do you know. And if we are spending more time on videos. You know, we could do something like that if it was something that everybody would be interested for. You know, and then like I, mean, you know, I would be, I, I would be like I would be you know excited to do it because like I find that like, kind of like hunting down those kind of old cards and stuff like that is exciting to me. And I think you know I imagine it could be exciting for viewers as well because it's like the whole mystery of it. Like you don't know what you're gonna find. Correct. And then you know what do we find here? What is it worth? People, I feel like love saying like oh I've you know. You know, got this card for, you know, this much or whatever, you know, reeling and dealing, you know, it's worth this much or whatever, you know, stuff like that. Well, that's why if we did actual conventions or booths, yeah. I would totally do a wrap up at the end of uh, what we bought in today. Yeah. And literally just go over every cool thing we picked up. Right. And we've talked about doing that too, just like, you know, having a bigger presence at like conventions, at regional championships. That is a lot of an undertaking, but I would love to I would love to do that. That's kind of like the next natural progression of everything. Right. But again, I I don't know. What's awkward about us is we're not really a store or a business. Right. We're a bunch of idiots <laughs> that open cards and then we, we kind of sell some of them. Uh-huh. That's really, that's us. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're more a crew. Yeah, Bazarian's crew. Yeah, this is literally, literally kind of a, club. a hobby. <laughs> it's it's a hobby that we're trying to uh, sustain, sustain ourselves. Sustain ourselves. Of. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice, honestly. It is, right? So I don't know. Maybe we could do a couple things to start to take ourselves a little seriously. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. maybe yeah. I don't know, that requires work. Oh, it does. <laughs> Effort. I don't know. Hobbies shouldn't be <laughs> like Hobbies that. Hobbies shouldn't be like that. Are we going to kill the fun? <laughs> no, that'd be hard. As long as I get to keep cracking packs open. Right. That'd be. All right, all right, all right, fine. If we ever do it as a, as a legit business and right. we actually make actual money, um, I demand the first thing we invest money into once we have spare money is I want to hire someone to go back through every single video we've ever done and tell me exactly how many packs I've opened. And I want them to keep track. <laughs> hey! And <laughs> Rainbow Golem. Nice. All and right. uh, I want a weekly update from them on how many Pokemon packs I have opened on YouTube. Oh my gosh. That's so just like what a I counter want like in your, in your analytics section of YouTube, but yep. like... But we, for <laughs> like, that you I'll, can check I'll, in I'll live time. Update descriptions every now and then of Darium has personally opened X uh -huh. amount of packs oh my on this gosh. team. Alright, looks like we're gonna tag team this last box here. Uh yeah, I'm down to one pack. I see that. Alright, and box number six. Looks like uh Kevin's gonna help me out with this one a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Stop making or... me do stuff. <laughs> Oh, I always thank put you. it on top of. Thank you, thank you for your, <laughs> thank you for your help. Oh, it's not really help if you kind of force it upon me, but that's okay, you know. Ooh, thank you for your acceptance. There you go, there you go. Uh -huh. I will appease you, sir. Thank you. Oh, we'll have to quickly go over what we got too. By the right. way, right? Oh, for sure. That. Yeah, got your stack maintenance. Nihiligo. Well, got your I stack. had to move it all for your extra packs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mahone. Oh, yep. I got the leaning tower of bulk over here to my side, just hoping that it... Yeah, yours uh -huh. is a mess. <laughs> mine is a mess. All right, I got two hits. I don't have time to sleave my hits or else I don't Kevin's know why gonna... I actually keep mine on camera, though. Right. My pile shouldn't be, but I just... I do... I, especially the energy. I don't know. I don't know. I do. When I'm doing a single box by myself, I keep them. Um, because, I, I don't know, I feel like, you know, it's cool for people to see the last rare you pulled or whatever. That makes sense. You know, it just allows them to see more of the... Uh, more of the opening. Well, they get to know the last energy type I got. Yeah, the last energy type you got, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Devoured field. <laughs> ah, sigh. But, yeah. So, videos. You know, direction of business. We're at a crossroads right now. Trying to figure things out. What we're going to do. I think, I mean, I think we have it down because we do have, like, a year to look back on. Right. And it does seem, in my opinion, like one video a day is probably the best. And something closer to a set schedule. Not like seven days a week set schedule, but it'd be nice of, okay, overwhelmingly it looks like PSA graded returns, so we should pick a day, put it on that. Right. You know, things that obviously people want, pick a day, put it there, then they know. Hey, I only, oh, get it out! Another one! Because there's some people that want only a specific series. I right. know, I've personally talked to people who stopped watching our channel only because they were only here for PSA graded returns. Sure. 
you know, and, and it's then gone. we stop providing it, right? So it'd be nice if they go, hey, uh, 3 p.m. on Monday. I know. I'll that show I'm up on that video. Right? And I do that with things even like PewDiePie, you know, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier. Right. I don't like. I don't want to say I don't like, but I don't watch most of their stuff. However, they do some stuff that I want to watch. Right. So I show up, I find it, watch it, leave. Exactly. That makes sense. Boop. It does make sense. And I think like getting this feedback is going to be valuable for us, for sure, to be able to see, you know, uh, just what direction to take. Yeah, that makes sense. The, the hardest part we're going to have is, oh, man, when we do live streams, we got to do them live. Gotta so do, if we're actually, like, we oh, do them Tuesdays. And, uh, here comes the kitty. kitty. If we're right. like, we're going to do it Tuesdays, this means uh, one of us has to be available on Tuesday. Tuesdays. Yeah, well, Preferably you know, more than one of I'm us. I'm on a pretty rigid schedule right now. I, you know, I got about 10 minutes to get to class. So, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, you know, I know what days I'm free. We, we can figure it out for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, so we don't really need help, I guess, picking the days. I mean, we just need just picking the your activity. favorite series. Hey, another what? one. Another Two counter. counter I know. That's, okay. This case Four has been really good. Case. Really good. That's insane, Exactly. Honestly. No, it definitely has been really good. So. Uh, I just put a stack on top of the wrong stack, I think, didn't I? Oh, well, the no. cat is loving all these packs. Oh, I the cat the, loves, the the cat sleep loves the, uh, to sleep in the pack. The cat loves to sleep in the pack. There was one time I was down here, and I was trying to film... Uh, a video and the cat just started kneading. Like I was doing like a deck pro a deck profile and the cat was just kneading, kneading in, the in the packs and I was like I was, <laughs> like freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, the audio is just gonna be <laughs> I mean she's doing it right now actually. And she's doing it right now, I know, but and she's so adorable. She though. is cute. Can't can even be wants. mad. I can't be mad. All right, Let's we got two sleep. packs remaining in yeah, this, this case up. and this case has been pretty hot. I'm in one pack remaining. Final pack. Case. Here we go. Pulling up the caboose. All right, <laughs> we got there. Oh, I don't know how you do that so fast, Kevin. I was I was firing on all six cylinders. I was taking there. my time. I was I was really really busting my butt trying to get those opened as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, like my pits are sweaty right now. All right, let's yeah. just do. Give, all me, right. give me all this. Here's the normals. I'll have you uh, kind of sort the ish the normals. All right, what the uh, so non full arts? I'm gonna right. yeah, I'm gonna. I'll mix this stuff. Up. And there goes that, and here comes the Gyarados and the Full Art. And here we go. We got so, Hylatus. out of six, this is insane. This seems good. This it seems really, really good, just from my initial kind of I mean, of out of six parking. boxes, you're talking just four Full Art trainers alone. It's kind of insane. Right. Uh, that's all right. And then four Secret Rares. That's... Right, crazy. Like, oh, like that's two and two. I mean, yeah, that's like yeah, two thirds of our boxes, right? Here. Yeah, two thirds of our boxes had those. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is insane. And then still, every other box had a hyper rare or a rainbow right. rare, whatever you want to say. Crazy. All right, where's ah uh, five Gyarados? Five Gyarados. We yes, had four Buzzwol, four Buzzwolies. Me, here we go. Savali, where's Savali? Savali, Savali, and Savali. This was a weird. Good. I mean, playset, more than a playset, 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 right. one, one. Right. <laughs> like, just with a single. Did we get a rainbow rare Guzzlord? Guzzlord? Right there, yeah. Oh, yeah, there he is, okay. <laughs> but I'm just saying, as, as a normal, though. Right. That's, that seems These like too some many. some hot hits, yeah. That's, uh, okay, so wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-one. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 35, uh, 30, okay, that's almost six. That's, That's almost one shy between of six, five and six a box, yeah. Which uh, this box has been anywhere between like two to four. I know, right? Maybe I've definitely opened some four Crimson Invasion. I, I, uh -huh. I wonder, is this a new print run? Did I they up know. the number of hits, or did we just win the Crimson Invasion lottery? I think we just won the lottery. Yeah, yeah, that I was like a great it. opening. All right. Uh, well, we're done with Crimson Invasion. We're retiring on a high note. <laughs> Never again. <laughs>